what we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at using some slightly unconventional um, different ways of creating colour and tone um, in your artworks while you're working from home. So the first one of those is tea, okay? And you can see here I've just got a tea bag that I've had sat in some cold water for a little while. And simply all I'm going to do with that is just lightly rub it on my page to do a bit of tea staining and I'm going to leave that to dry. You can do the same with a bit of coffee. So I've got a bit of coffee here and I'm going to apply this with a sponge because I know some of us might not have paintbrushes available to us at home and I'm just going to do the same again. And you can see the effect's quite similar. The coffee's probably just a bit stronger and a bit darker. So I'm going to leave those to dry. Whilst I move on and have a look at a different way that you could use coffee and uh, tea, I'm going to use coffee just purely because I think it's easier to get the different tones with. You could still do this with tea, but you would have to mix up separate little pots of different strength tea. Um, but I'm going to use coffee because it's quite easy to make tones with this because when you want to make it darker, you just put more granules of coffee in. And then when you want to make it lighter, I just add more water to what I've already mixed up. Um, so I find it does work quite well for me, this, using coffee to make tone. So I'm creating the picture of this beetle. We've all seen this beetle before because we've all looked at it in lesson. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to start to make some of the darker tones because I find it easier to make the darker tones and then water out towards the lighter ones so I'm using a paintbrush here but like I said a lot of you probably won't have paintbrushes at home so if you don't um, a cotton bud could work just as well 